Here's a warm-up exercise that I like to do and I encourage my students to do. Um, and that is some sort of basic kidney bean blob. <laughs> and um, I'll show you I'll show you what I mean. Before beginning to draw, I think it's always important to warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. And all I'm doing is just trying to sort of warm up my, my arm to be able to flow in, in this kind of general fashion. I'm holding my pencil sort of like a baton. My knuckles are, are riding along the paper for support. And I'm just going to go over this like that. Switch directions. It's basically just an oval with some sort of place in it where it it bends inward and then bends back out. So here's another one. Oh dear, he went to Something like that, switching directions. Just tracing over. It's building hand-eye coordination as far as being able to follow the same path. I'm using a, a fun graphite stick pencil but um, you can certainly do it with a good old-fashioned pencil this is a Stadler 4B let's see Switch directions. Using the side of my pencil. Holding my wrist and fingers still. So that's the idea. I like this shape because it will also um, help lead us into a discussion of subtle overlap and how important that is when we're starting to draw three-dimensional forms and structures. And I'm making these pretty tame, but you can certainly um, get a little bit more uh, wacky with them. No 
Oh, that's not very wacky, I know. Getting the arm to just sort of flow around the page and 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 um, deciding when maybe to put the pencil down. Not put the pencil down and stop drawing. <laughs> make contact with the paper. So pages and pages and pages of that is a really great thing. Big, small. Light, dark. Continuous. Okay, have fun.